Ian Tan, captain of Briners. Uh, today's game was, our first game was uh, interesting. Although we had a slow start, we picked up our pace and were able to capitalize on our size since the opponents was a small size team. So with the help of our big men, we were able to dominate the game and uh, actually win. In terms of playing at night, it's also uh, quite an experience being that it's an outdoor game. Most of us maybe are experienced playing at night, but maybe in Nyayo. So yeah, this is an experience, it's something nice. It feels good to be just within the hood and play the game that people love. If the games are started in time and the schedule is followed, most probably by midnight the games would have ended and uh, being that like for our team it's a collected effort most of us will just maybe take a cab and go home for some uh, commuting is the next option if they can't afford a cab and then being that Umoja and the norm known for Umoja and safety at night it becomes a bit of a challenge in terms of uh, how to get our way around and even just to access town yeah, so the most challenge I think for most people are just thinking about their safety by the time you're living here and most of us even don't know our way around so yeah, safety is a, is a key priority. Events is a community event, it's, a, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's an, a community event, we came out to support community sports and more so the basketball. Basketball is one of the most uh, not appreciated sports in the country so we came out to strongly support basketball and to nurture and to grow it. Right now the the, the uh, groups that we're dealing with, it's an open group. We are having, uh, we've started with um, uh, under 21 all the way to uh, and, uh, uh, all the way to 40 years of age, and this is because uh, we are trying to prom uh, we are trying to bring the old uh, basketball players to support the new basketball players, to encourage them, build them, and equip them. So how we've structured, we've structured ourselves in such a way whereby we are promoting community sports nurturing the young with the old who have already been there and uh, they, they, they've not seen much out of the sports they've been playing for some time so what we're trying to do is to bring back to the community nurture the young ones and then spread them out uh, and connect them out with the international uh, scouts so that they can get a better opportunity out of the country not only in in, in, in kenya because kenya our sporting uh, uh, bracket is a very small one so we are looking to push our, our our players out as much as possible the community is full of talent uh, young people are wasting a lot of strength and energy in the community because they don't make it through uh, good teams so they end up just wasting themselves in drugs and all that other vices so we have come out to make sure that we incorporate them in the community sports make it competitive make them win set them in groups and then expose them internationally to give them a platform that they've not been able to get before